Lovely enough for the back of three excellent wins. Is a chance to get one over on Dagenham? Well, it's um, it's three excellent wins, but um, obviously the uh, the GPT one sticks out in my mind. Uh, the fact that we played so well for long periods of time, but didn't actually get over the winning line, and not just a case of getting over the winning line that mad eight to ten minutes uh, that we have to put right uh, in any game of football. But I went to see uh, Dagenham and Red, Redbridge on uh, on Saturday at Northampton. And uh, I know Wayne Burnett quite well, I know I've made reference to that before. Uh, I coached him at uh, Bolton Wonders and, and his team plays in the manner of, of Wayne. Wayne's a, Wayne was an excellent footballer and his team does play very good football in, in spells. Um, and it's one that we've really got to, got to be about our medal, you know. Um, the play a 4-2-4 uh, where the front four have just got a licence to play wherever they want to play. Uh, and they've, they've, you know, the lad Murphy is, uh, is a potent striker, he's got five goals already this season. Um, the lad Zavin Haynes had a great season at, at Bradford last year and looks like he's continuing in that vein. Um, but it, it's, it'll be a tough game, there's no doubt about it. I think these are a, a really good side and uh, what I witnessed on Saturday is they went, went a goal behind and they showed the character to come back. Scored a quick two goals in succession, fairly similar to what we, uh, we sampled in the GPT. Uh, quick two goals in succession, went in 2-1. And then uh, just slept in for a free kick, and that's the reason what cost them the three points. Uh, but I thought they were worthy of the three points on Saturday. And as I say, defensively, we've got to be as solid as we have been in the in the three games that you made reference to. The three three wins in a row now gives us confidence going into Dagenham tomorrow night. Yeah, definitely. Um, we've obviously won three in a row now, three clean sheets, which is which is brilliant. Um, going into Dagenham, which obviously they beat us last time out, so we we need to we need to put in a good performance for the fans, for for each other, and for and for the club. We obviously started the season with three wins and three clean sheets, so we've got to learn from that, haven't we? Because we went on a little bit of a disappointed run after that. Yeah, of course, we have to learn from the beginning of the season. We had another, we had a great start at the beginning of the season, just seemed to come off it for some reason. Not, I don't think performances dipped, but for some reason we just we just didn't get the results that we needed. So we have to we have to go into Dagenham and go for the three points and go for the win and, and build on from that. A score to settle with Dagenham after the, the defeat in the Johnson's pain. Yeah, obviously it was disappointing. The last time out, the, the defeat, but we have to we have to learn from that and go again and and get a win in the league, which is probably more important. Frustrating to to miss out that game really because you you were on the bench, obviously you sort of took took a rest in, in that competition, but got a chance to watch Dagenham from the sides. Yeah, it was, I was disappointed not to play. Obviously, you want to play every game, but the gaffer chose not to play me, which is fair enough. Um, I'm looking forward to Tuesday night. Um, I think we can. I think we we've got more than capable of winning the game, especially at home. So it'll be interesting. Welcome to Six Fields for Northampton against Dagenham and Redbridge. Northampton suffered their first defeat in three games at Oxford last week. Carter. Pushed away by Chris Lewington. Needs to come and repace this one. Good delivery. Oh, it's hit the post. Attack it with the... Northampton corner, a real scramble in front of goal and turned in from close range by Luke Hacker. The opening goal of the game goes Northampton's way. Hines. Good run from Zevon Hines, gets it back from Dixon, went for the corner, wonderful! Wonderful goal from Zevon Hines. Scored two in the Johnson's Paint Trophy win over South End a couple of weeks ago, and that is an excellent goal to level things up for Dagenham. Hacker inside the penalty area, tussling away. Carter on the turn. That's a good ball across, and a free header for Rhys Murphy, and it's Dagenham that take the lead just before half time. Murphy completely unmarked. Lovely touch by Carter. Good strike by Deegan. Dallas. Oh, just runs free and driven into the bottom corner by Ian Morris. And just past the hour, Northampton Town equalise. Dallas. It's a great ball into the penalty area to the back post where Hackett's arriving. And there goes the full time whistle. An entertaining game ends at six fields. 2-2 between Northampton Town and Dagenham and Redbridge.